Hello, my name is Gregory Osborne. I'm an instructor with XRTERRA. And in this module, we're going to be talking about the on collision enter method. On collision enter is a method that gets fired by mono behavior on any object that has a rigid body when that rigid body collides with something else. So let's demonstrate what this looks like in Unity. I'm going to share my screen. And what I'm going to do, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cube. And I'm going to, I guess I'm going to reset its position. I'm going to, this is just going to be a collider. It may as well just be a, a plane, I guess. So let's make it 10 by 10 wide. And this is going to be the thing that we're colliding with. Um, and the next thing I'm going to make is going to be uh, maybe let's let's say a, a, a cylinder. We haven't worked with any cylinders recently. I'm going to go ahead and reset this and, and move this up. On this cylinder, we're going to add a rigid body component. So it's going to have gravity, and I'm going to hit play. And eventually, what I want to happen is when this cylinder touches, I guess, I don't know if I like that it just stops. I'm going to have the it rotate just a little bit, just so it falls a little bit. And now when I hit play and the cylinder hits the ground, what I intend to happen is there to be a couple of different messages that pop up when the cylinder actually touches the plane that it's it's colliding with. So I'm going to create a script. This script is going to be called collision cylinder because we're putting it onto our cylinder that's being collided with. And I'm going to select my cylinder game object. I'm going to add this component onto there and then I'm going to open it up. Inside this collision cylinder class, I don't actually need the start or update functions for this. All I actually need is mono behavior because it's mono behavior that's in charge of calling this method when a collision is detected. So I'm going to start typing void on collision enter. And I actually do recommend letting autocomplete finish this off for you because there's a parameter that you might not necessarily remember the type for, but it passes along a variable of the type collision. And this collision actually gives you a lot of information about the collision that just occurred. So for example, if I type collision dot, you can see I can find the impact for some, the impulse of the of the force of, of collision. I can see the relative velocity. I can find the rigid body on the other object and I can access like, you know, the collider that I just collided with or how many contacts I have with this game object. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm just going to go ahead and put in a debug.log message. And I'm going to say collided with and all I'm going to really use this for is the name of the object I'm colliding with. So I'm just going to say collision dot game object dot name. And so what this will do is it'll find the game object that I just collided with and it'll find that name and it'll output it to the console. So I'm going to go ahead and save the script and go back into Unity. And what I should find is when I hit play, this cylinder, when it touches the plane, it will send us a message into the console. Um, and there we go, collided with cube. And cube is the name of our, our thing right here. If I wanted to, I could make this super bouncy because I believe I made a physic material previously. And that way I can make this thing uh, collide a couple more times than just once. I'm going to make this thing a little bit wider even. So 20 by 20. And when I hit play and this cylinder collides with it, it's going to send one message every time it touches the ground. There we go. There's another one. There's our second message. And then it just kind of keeps on going. So that's on collision enter. Uh, you can pretty much do anything inside here. I generally recommend, however, checking to make sure the object you collided with is the one that you're looking for. A lot of the time, there's a lot of geometry in our scenes. And so you never actually know what you just collided with. So it's usually a common practice to have an if statement where you check some property. A lot of the time what we check is a tag. So I can say if collision dot game object dot compare tag and I can call compare tag, which is a function that basically returns true if the game object has the tag that's spelled out in a string inside compare tag. So I'm just going to say player, I guess. And if so, debug dot log. That was the player. And so what I can do is right now, if I hit play, I won't actually receive that message because the cube is not tagged as player, right? If I hit play, it'll just show me collided with cube, but I won't get that message. Um, and there we go, collided with cube, but nothing else. But if I select this cube and in the inspector, I change the tag to player. Player just happens to be one of the default tags that Unity gives us when we first create a project. But when I hit play, 
that second message will pop up and will be like, oh, I collided with the player, for example. There we go. That was the player. And then it says it again. And so you can use this, this if statement in order to make sure that you're actually colliding with the right object. So to recap, in order to fire on collision enter, you need a rigid body on the same game object as the on collision enter method. And every time that rigid body and its collider that isn't set to is trigger, you have to have at least one collider that isn't set to is trigger. When that collider touches something else, on collision enter will fire. And of course, the something else that it touches also can't be a trigger. It has to be a, a normal physics collider. But assuming both colliders are non-trigger colliders and the rigid body component is present, on collision enter will fire. On all, all scripts that implement on collision enter, all of them will fire on the game object that has just uh, collided with something. That's going to be everything for on collision enter. Thank you for watching this module.